In the previous video, we saw about the divisions of gingiva, marginal gingiva, attached gingiva and the interdental component. Here in detail, we will see about attached gingiva. Attached gingiva is, as the name suggests, is tightly bound to the underlying periosteum of the alveolar bone. It is firm and resilient. This feature is exclusive to healthy adults because in diseased condition, the attached gingiva can be soft and edematous, firm and fibrotic in patients or in adults with chronic smoking habits. The firm and resilient feature is exclusive to healthy adults. The mucogingival junction demarcates the attached gingiva from the movable alveolar mucosa. It is especially notable in the facial aspects that is the labial and buccal aspects. Whereas in lingual aspect, the demarcation between the attached gingiva and the lingual alveolar mucosa is noticeable. But in contrast, in the palatal aspect, the demarcation between the attached gingiva and the palatal mucosa is imperceptible. It is difficult to note because the palatal mucosa is as well as firm and resilient and not mobile unlike the other lingual mucosa or the labial mucosa. Now let us see Another clinical parameter which is important, width of attached gingiva. Like the probing depth which was measured with periodontal probe, what we saw in the previous video where the depth of the sulcus is measured. Similarly, width of the attached gingiva is another clinical parameter which has some significance regarding treatment plan and disease conditions. Width of the attached gingiva is the distance between the mucogingival junction and the bottom of the sulcus or pocket. It is greatest in the incisor region and least in the first premolar region. In maxilla, in the incisor region, it is about 3.5 to 4.5 mm. In mandible, it is about 3.3 to 3.9 mm. Whereas in the first premolar region, the width of the attached gingiva is 1.9 mm in the maxillary region and 1.8 mm in the mandibular region. These values and the definition of width of attached gingiva is important in viva point of view. And the physiological changes seen in the width of the attached gingiva are it increases with age and increases in supra erupted teeth. Why it increases in supra erupted teeth? Because the mucogingival junction remains stationary throughout life. Therefore, the width of the attached gingiva changes with the position of the coronal aspect of the gingiva. Now, there is another term like width of keratinized gingiva. Here, width of attached gingiva is added with the width of marginal gingiva as both the components are keratinized. These concepts form the basic of attached gingiva. See you soon in the next video.